The other day I noticed mysterious footprints in my garage that were still fresh in blood. I'm fast boy McGee. So I fast guide inside and discovered a mysterious package in my freezer with my name on it. After doing some investigating, I realized the truth was more disturbing than I could have ever anticipated. Before we begin, I just want to say I'm super excited to announce that our Fast Guy Club merch is now live at callmemink.com. I want everyone to be able to get one for Christmas, so the entire new collection is discounted 10% off. The sale ends on December 1st. This new collection is going to sell out quick, so make sure you grab one so it comes in time for Christmas. It's super soft, super comfortable, and I'm honestly so happy with how the designs came out. So if you want to take advantage of this sale, join the Fast Guy Club and shop this new collection. You can check it out at callmemink.com, the first link in the description below. I've been working non-stop 100 hours a week to finish up this drop and to make stories for you guys, so I really hope you love the merch as much as I do. Fast Guy merch, yes. <sighs> now without further ado, you smell that? Yeah. It smells like the legend of the Fast Guy. An octopus egg farts. Today I found something that still gives me nightmares. I was eating my farts when I noticed the garage door was mysteriously open. I examined the door and noticed underneath were a set of bloody footprints still fresh. A super fast guy to grab my nunchucks and proceeded to enter the garage. I followed the footsteps and it wasn't long before I noticed a mysterious package in the freezer. I flipped it over and holy chicken egg farts, there was my name written in blood. What was going on? I fast guide back home, unwrapped the barbed wire, ripped off the package, and holy fart in my pants. It was a creepy book with this disturbing cover. As I opened it, it smelled it like rotten flesh. And on the first page was a language I did not understand. I flipped to the first page and read Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Holy Toucan Sam. I scanned the book onto me chamber of secrets. And after nine years of intense nose picking, it came back with a direct translation of death. Meaning this was the book of the dead. Flipped through the pages and there were terrifying images left and right. When I noticed a demonic shadow figure, I instantly released seven farts per second as I scanned the drawing onto my computer. Suddenly, the lights flickered as these words appeared on the screen. Holy mitochondria, what does this mean? So everyone in the comments said it was Latin. So I began to study the language for 79 days for no reason and proceeded to use Google Translate. It read, The day has come. Holy bejeebies! I did some investigating, and apparently this book was written in the 1800s by an evil sorcerer, bounded in human skin and the ink made from human blood. That explains the rotten odor, but it gets even freakier. It is said this book collected the souls of the undead, and he who opens it is prophesied to bring upon a great evil. Holy pigeon phalanges. The Necronomicon served as a passageway to the evil worlds beyond. The ancient language speaks of an all-powerful demon from the underworld, gathering souls for hundreds of years, so that one day he may bring upon massive destruction. This book possessed extraordinary dark magics, and if it ever went into the wrong hands, it would be the end of the human race. Whoever left me this book wanted me to find it and unleash this demon. I didn't have much time. According to ancient legends, in in three days time, the bringer of death will arrive and the world as we know it will end. I didn't even have time to poop my pants, so I peed in them instead. This may be my greatest opponent yet. I had three days to get ready. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, and you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, this is not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power as long as you're driven
He's here. choice. I need to activate the power of the super fast guy.
the book. It's gone. Hold up, there's one more scene after this. So you can shop the new Fast Guy merch at callmemink.com. Don't forget, the sale ends December 1st, so get yours quick. And I'll see you inside the Fast Guy Club. Fast Guy merch, yes. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable Today I found something that still gives me nightmares I was peeing my pants when I noticed the shed door was mysteriously open I examined the door and saw there was a creepy handprint still fresh, dripping in blood